All right, we're back. It's a new day and a new video. We're gonna continue where we left off last time, where we were going to find Garrus. Sorry about that abrupt ending to the last episode. My light died, so I didn't want to record. Well, kind of in the dark because it was getting late over here. So I just decided to let it charge, and here we are in another day. So let's just get right into it, finish it up, find Garrus, and hopefully find other means to investigate Saren. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. There you go. Alright, skin keeper. Aw oh, man. I didn't get to hear the rest of your conversation. Well that's fine. Let's keep it moving. Oh, somebody to talk to. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Sure. Why not? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Alright, how are our investigations linked together? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. But why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right. Let's observe the scenic view. Looks sick. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. Oh. You don't take much short yeah. leave, do you, LT? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Alright, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'll walk drag, man. Uh, my biggest fear in life is awkward situations. I just can't handle them. It's adorable, but sometimes it's just hard to get through them. Oh. Alright. Pretty sure Garrus is over here, so let's go over there. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! Oh, that was some smart shit's guy. going on. Ooh. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. <laughs> ah! Nice shot. Alright. Well, these guys should be too hard to take down. I mean, come on. Shield down! We can't take down these guys. Are we really military? Alright. 
That took way longer than I thought it was Clear. going to. Oh. Maybe let's not try and do that. All right, let's talk to Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What, what Quarian? Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the council can ignore this. Okay, but we need to find her Time first. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. All right, you're in. Let's Welcome do it. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We do need Krogan him. Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Alright, so we're gonna take Caden and we're gonna take Garrus. We're gonna go pick up Rex, and then we're gonna go to Fist Bar. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. It's not that bad. You know, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. You too. Alright, let's head out. We gotta go to see Sec Academy. Which I'm pretty sure is downstairs, if I remember. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Maybe. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. 
I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like him too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use him, right? And Harkin, that douche. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Nice talking to you, guy. But I gotta keep going. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Just keep it moving, keep it moving. Down to the wards. And elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Sorry about that text. Mama texted me. Huh. Alright. Well, we got a little news report on Eden Prime. Ah, oh, here's Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. I like this guy. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome to the Glad team. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. We're gonna take Rex, and we're gonna take Garrus. So, off to Fist bar we go. So we're gonna go to Cora's Den. Down in the woods. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I got a feeling they're gonna know that we're coming. But I got a feeling I definitely know. Yep, that they know we're Looks coming. Like <laughs> Oh, it's that guy. Alright, we might have to go in shotgun first. Oh, this is fun. Oh, and we're probably gonna die. <laughs> That's not a fun way to start this. I'm probably way too far from that guy for a shotgun, but we're gonna try our best. Make gel deployed. Switching. Should be all of them. Nothing to pick up, so we're good. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. 
All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I don't think you want to try that, Home Slice. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. <laughs> so quick to just leave. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Die. I haven't died yet. I can't die oh, yet. Let's change our weapons real quick. Cause that will definitely help. We go. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Good job. <laughs> Good job, guys. Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where this is. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I mean, he did surrender. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. All right, we'll get to the Quarian in time, guys, because my strategy is to just run away from any enemies. But first, we're going to take all this loot. Alright, now, we're just going to try our best to run as far as we can go. Hit people if we have to. We're going to just run. Catching you up. And that was easy. Took a bit of damage, but sometimes the smartest thing is to just run straight through open fire. <laughs> Don't actually take that advice. <laughs> just a little zigzagging. Managed to get out of there. And here we go. Nice. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Yeah, man, get your creepy hands up. Shields disabled. There you go. All the enemies are down now. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you alright? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. 
Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Alright, tell me more about this, uh, stuff you have on Sarah. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Line and sinker, he got him. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right, though. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel's space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Pretty Whatever. sure I said the same thing, the too. Warrior. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Sure, I'll why take not? all the help I can get. Let's just bring everybody Thanks. in. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, so... What do I want to take? Tolly's probably going to meet us... Either way. So we're gonna take We're gonna take Garrus and we'll take Caden, why not? 
I don't actually hate him as a character. You know, some people do not like him. <laughs> uh, we'll kind of switch around, take everybody. Uh, so let's see. I, I do want to talk to people. I want to figure out how to. Strained greeting, human. Help this, this guy. This is out. really not a good time. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? What did this Asari do to get I you? I cannot some? speak more about this problem. Where can I find this Asari? She is across the bridge from okay. here. I was hoping that maybe it would open up a mission, but it's just the same lines as before, so... Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Give me one second, I'll come back. I'll come back and do that one in a second. But let's go straight to the tower first. And here we are. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Good. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers what are mean, obviously just a why. myth, Commander. It literally says a convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Wow. Way to just say lives don't matter. Thanks. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. Now here's some gas. to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Uh, what are you talking about? I am here and ready to rock. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy.
Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Yes! We did it, guys. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'm ready. Let's I'll find rock. Him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Uh, of course not. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. All right. So we're definitely going to check that stuff out soon. Well, that's good. We're finally a Spectre. We proved that Saren is evil. Now we just have to find out exactly what he's going after and stop him before he does that. So let's find the Spectre's requisition officer because I want to see what they have. If they have any special gear, if okay, it's Julie, just... Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorbin, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go with. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Alright, we need to find this requisition guy. As I was saying... What was it to either get gear or get training or whatever we need? Oh, here's another keeper. I think I went to the wrong side. So we'll go to the other side and check it out. Here's another keeper. Maybe it's this guy. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yep. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, 
Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? We'll see. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Oh, Just no show me what deal. you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Thanks. All right. So I want to find armor. We don't have enough money for this yet. But we can sell the stuff we don't need. So we're gonna have to come back when we actually have some money. But we are kind of broke. Let's see. Okay, we leveled up some more. So we want to upgrade our charm. We have eight charm now. And we've unlocked special training. So we should definitely improve our health. I think I want to unlock armor first the medium armor and then once we do that and we can equip higher armor we'll work on uh, upgrading our powers and our weapon damage so let's go back to where that other thing was happening that guy thinks he's gonna be killed by his friend maybe we can help out with that because that just seems a little too interesting to me. To pass up. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Sure, I'll talk Just to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. All right, well, let's go find Shorbin and confront him about this. Lower markets. Thank goodness for fast travel. Alright. So I'm pretty sure, yep, we're in the upper wards. So we need to go to a lower wards. And here he is. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? I want some You can start answers. by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You spoke with Jaleed? 
Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell no, me. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. <laughs> Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What use does it have? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Great. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? No. I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data and I doubt he's planning to return it. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. All right, got some more Paragon. Love to see it. All right, well, let's go back and talk with Jalid. All right, because he stole this data. And now we got to get it back. Gosh, just playing Mass Effect 1 again. Just gives, brings me so many memories. There's just so many weird encounters you can have. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes, I did. I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Because you're You forgot to mention the crap. data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a bit late to be thinking about that. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. If it's that important, then take it back to the people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back and continue work on it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Have a nice day, Jalid. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a Keeper, scan it. Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck, and so long. I went from scanning the Keepers and making money, to finding out that they stole this data to create this scanner that scans these Keepers. Telling them to turn it back into their corporation or whatever. And still end up <laughs> scanning the keepers for money. I and I got a lot of paragon on the way. So or a decent amount. 
All right. Now with that done, uh, see if we can find any more keepers on our way out of here. So we are heading out to stop Saren. Your biotics are impressive, Lieutenant. I'm surprised that humans stop using the L2 configuration with results like yours. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. Humanity will be judged by the sacrifices its people are willing to make, Lieutenant. The Turians would have kept the L2 implants. Alright, ready to rock? and get out of here. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. See, I found this out from Harkin. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Well, you can count on me. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead, Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her, see what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Then I'll go there first. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. All right. Well, that does it for this one. We'll continue on in just a second. Part four. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.